friends, it's Erin from LizanneErin.com. Tonight I've got another cute craft to share with you guys. We will be using all things Dollar Tree. This is a simple little butter dish that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And uh, it can be found in the houseware section. And we will also be using two packs of the salt and pepper shakers, also from Dollar Tree. Then I picked up a few stems of the four Cynthia's from Dollar Tree, and then we'll be using chalk paint. First, we'll start by hot gluing the, our lid and our base of our butter dish together, which is a thin layer of hot glue. Then we'll set that aside and let that dry while we move on to our salt and pepper shakers. We're gonna remove the lids to the to all of the salt and pepper shakers, all four of them, and uh, we can set them aside and save them for another project, but we will not be using them for this project. Okay, and for this project, I decided to use chalk paint. And the reason that I chose chalk paint is because we're, we will be painting on glass. And with glass, there's nothing for a, regular acrylic paint to adhere to. So that is why I chose chalk paint to uh, avoid that issue. I'm using Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. This color is called Beadboard, and the teal color that I'm using is called Old 57. Isn't this color just amazing? Before starting with coat number two, I realized that coat number one was not completely dry. So here I'm using my heat gun from Harbor Freight just to speed up the process. And then we'll, we will uh, start with coat number two. And that will be all that we need is two coats of chalk paint. Coverage is, the chalk paint has great coverage.
Didn't these turn out amazing? I decided to add twine to the tops of the salt and pepper shakers, and I felt like it just added a little country rustic touch to it. So I just wrapped my twine around the top part of the salt and pepper shakers, and then I just added a dab of hot glue here and there as I worked my way up. All right, so let's get on to the distressing part of this project, my favorite part. I will be using a, a very worn, uh, beat up sanding sponge for this one. It's an older one that I've used a ton. And the reason that I'm using that one is because it's not as coarse uh, because it's been heavily used. So uh, that way it's not gonna remove all the paint. It's just going to distress the paint on the, on the salt and pepper shakers. So uh, let's say that you um, have a brand new sanding sponge from Dollar Tree and it's gonna be really coarse. You can take it outside to your sidewalk or uh, driveway and just rub it on the concrete and that'll kind of wear that down a little bit for you. And uh, then go at it and distress it. You just don't want a, a really coarse sanding sponge at first because it's just going to take all the paint off rather than make it look like a naturally distressed uh, weathered piece and there we go so I go, th go through and do that to all four of them uh, also if you do not have a worn sanding sponge uh, and you don't have a brand new one either you could also get a 220 grit sandpaper that's a really fine sandpaper all right, looky there. So we've got all of that done. I love all those colors, the teal with the white, with the uh, the twine around the top, looks great. All right, so now I'm gonna distress the butter dish. Now the butter dish is not glass. It's really just a heavy plastic, heavy, thick plastic. So I did uh, go back to using my coarse sanding sponge on this one because the other one just wasn't, wasn't taking off much paint. And then I decided that uh, I, did, I didn't go too heavy with distressing on the butter dish. Then I thought that I was going to add these Scrabble letters to the butter dish. I had pulled the, them out and was gonna add them on the side, but then I, I changed my mind. I did, however, decide to go and add some twine around the base of the butter dish and we're also gonna be adding our yellow flowers those colors look so good the yellow with the teal and I, these for Cynthia's these stems were from the Dollar Tree and they're really really pretty so I just cut off a few thems with uh, stems with my wire cutters and um, I didn't even use the whole stem I just cut little pieces off and it was enough to fill the vases. So I still have a lot of the For Cynthia left over actually.
too stinking cute. And there it is. I decided to wrap the twine around. So I just hot glued around the base of the butter dish and we just attached the, the twine. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this project. I know that I did. I love all these colors together and I love the fact that this was a total of four dollars in total. It was a dollar for the butter dish, two dollars for the salt and pepper shakers, and a dollar for the stems. So four dollars all together. Uh, here's the chalk paint that I used again. That was the Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. You can hop on over to her website and check that out if you'd like. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Also, uh, check out our shirts at lizzieandarendesigns.com and check out our blog at lizzieandarend.com. Thanks guys. Bye.